Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Oh, here's a crazy story for you. Let me show you the headline. Wuhan pneumonia. Ontario MPPs urge Chinese Canadian doctor to remove divisive sign. So just to be clear what's going on here, there is a doctor in Ontario who in Chinese, not even in English, so he's speaking to fellow Chinese Canadians, refers to COVID-19 as the Wuhan pneumonia, which is where it came from and that is what it does to you. And yet Canadian politicians are telling this doctor not to say that. Let me read a little bit of this story. It's from the National Post. Two Toronto-based politicians are pressing a Chinese-Canadian doctor to remove a sign on his office door in Chinese that refers to COVID-19 as the Wuhan pneumonia, complaining the wording could incite anti-Asian hatred. Let me stop you right there. If the only people who can read it Our Chinese speakers, odds are they are ethnically Chinese. I mean, there are some Caucasian or non-Chinese people who speak Chinese, but if you're in a Chinese neighborhood going to a Chinese doctor whose door has Chinese writing, odds are you're Chinese too. What's the likelihood that that will whip you up into anti-Chinese fervor? You're probably Chinese yourself, and you're going to a Chinese doctor by choice. Does this make any sense? Here, I'll read a little more. The English part of the sign, which explained Dr. Kester Khan's office protocol during the pandemic, referred only to COVID. (laughs) So who complained? Was it a patient? Get this. Vincent Key, a progressive conservative member of the provincial legislature with a history of ties to the Chinese government, said Kong may have made an innocent mistake, but it doesn't matter that the mention of Wuhan was in Chinese. So a politician came to stir up trouble, and this politician calls himself a progressive conservative. Then again, these days, anyone does, don't they? I mean, they even let Doug Ford and Aaron O'Toole call themselves conservatives. Let me read a bit more. Key had earlier posted about the issue in an anti-racism forum on the China-based WeChat social media site, saying that if the physician did not change the notice, he and fellow Tory MPP Eris Babikian would hold a news conference to publicize the issue. So just to understand, WeChat is an amazing app, but it's Chinese, and I don't mean ethnically Chinese or in the Chinese language, I mean it is rooted in China and it carries with it the Chinese government's values. It's an amazing app. It's like Facebook and Twitter and PayPal combined. It's an app that shows, though, that China is your center, not Canada. In Canada, you can use Facebook in Chinese. You can use Twitter in Chinese. When you're on WeChat, you're showing where your center of gravity is. Isn't it funny that this Canadian conservative would make threats about embarrassing this doctor in a Chinese WeChat app. I found that was very interesting. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.